I have a rare treat today. From our friends over at Urge USA, I happened to get uh, my hands on one of these awesome bottles of Urge, fresh from Norway. <laughs> and I also have a distraction right here, so bear with me. Uh, so what we're going to do today is we're going to see, this will be, this has been a long time coming. This will be my first urge ever. And I did a little um, translation of the ingredients listed on these bottles. And it is a slightly different formula from Surge, so I'm a little skeptical. I'd like to see, and I've heard that it's very close. I'd like to see if it really is the same flavor as Surge, and the only way to do that is to drink it side by side with Surge. <laughs> so, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of my Surge syrups here that I got before the movement actually started packaging their own, because I'd like to keep those in pristine condition. Uh, and I'm going to mix that up and make some fresh Surge, and I'm gonna drink some fresh Urge, and we're gonna see just how close they are. So what I've got for that is obviously a bottle of Urge and a bottle of Surge Syrup. I've got our Soda Stream here, because Soda Stream is awesome. <laughs> and I've got a Coca-Cola glass and the old um, signature curved style here. That's what I'm gonna be drinking the Surge out of. And then I've got my Breville Juicers cup here with measurements. I need exactly 10 fluid ounces of water. So that's what I'm gonna to use to measure that. And here we go with the carbonation. We're starting with a cold bottle. One. Ah, two. Three. Four. Give it a second. Let it figure itself out. Now let's see how carbonated this is. That looks pretty good. It's actually more carbonated than I thought. And that might be a little too carbonated. Check out that fizzy. That's pretty bubbly right there. Okay, so I need 10 ounces of that. I'm gonna do my best not to uh, let the tears go, but I make no promises because Surge is amazing. You know what, let me put this down here. Okay, getting down here so I can see. Okay, that is 10 fluid ounces. Now, as I've stated in a previous um, video, fluid ounces, or uh, solid measuring cups and liquid measuring cups are slightly different in their measurements. So be sure if you're going to mix some of this stuff that you're using a uh, measuring cup that's designed for liquids, like this bad boy right here. I use this because that other one goes to eight and then I'd have to do two and I didn't feel like doing that. So anyways, pouring into our Coca-Cola glass. That is 10 ounces. Mixing with two ounces. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take the top off. It's got a little nozzle, but I'm going to go straight in for this. I will admit I feel a little reserved. The more of this I drink, the less I have. And that's a sad, sad thing. That's why I'm with the movement now. Okay. 
symbolize our ongoing fight to bring back Surge, I'm going to go ahead and use this uh, katana style um, chopstick here. We're going to go ahead and stir this up. Get a good flavor here. Yeah, there we go. That's what I like. That is a beautiful green drink right there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that gets me every time. Gets me right in the feelings. Okay. <laughs> Man, I thought I was prepared for that. That smells good. Oh, my goodness. That is good stuff. Hmm. You know, it kind of reminds me of Ecto Cooler. I'm sure that uh, that comparison has been made before. Yeah, 100% the best soda ever to touch the feeble mortal lips of man. So now, we're going to try Urge. Mm. That's good stuff. Here we go, cracking up mm, my first bottle. Now, Urge predates Surge. It was released about a year before Surge was. And it, oh, wow. <laughs> that really smells like Surge. Um, this was the, uh, the parent drink that Surge was based off of. So, yeah, they changed the formula up, uh, probably because of differences in what's allowed here and there. Um, and uh, let's see how close they came. There's definitely a difference. Okay. So here's my take. Surge tastes like Surge. Urge is similar. Not quite the same. It, uh... If, if any of you guys are familiar with Canada Dry, um, I think uh, ginger ale, yeah, Canada Dry ginger ale, it kind of has more of a, uh, a hint of that than Surge does. Um, so, it's good stuff. It's very good stuff. And it's uh, the closest thing that I've found, and I've tried a lot of stuff. I mean, I've tried Monster Super Dry, I've tried um, Nos Citrus, I've tried uh, Mountain Dew MDX, uh, Vault, obviously, which is discontinued. Um, I'm drinking Mountain Dew Whiteout right now. And that's not really the same. I've tried Amp Energy Original. And those are all good drinks. Except for MDX. I don't really like that. Uh, but they're all good drinks. They're not really that close. I mean, Vault was pretty close. But it was obviously different. And you can tell the difference. It was a little bit sharper. Uh, more bitter flavor. And I think a lot of that had to do with the... Um, the... Uh, higher caffeine level in Vault than was in Surge. Um, so yeah, it's a good drink, and I'm probably going to, on, on occasion, buy a few bottles and drink it because it's the closest thing that there is to Surge, period. Um, but it's not going to take the place of Surge from my, from my viewpoint. So I'm just going to keep that fight going, and I hope that you do too. And one day we'll get it back. Uh, until then, Urge USA, thank you guys. And, uh, yeah, I wish everybody success. Peace.